Interactive Stock Charts is the best stock charting app I've ever used. It's very touch intuitive. You can scroll, zoom, uh, you can select candlesticks, and all the information will pop up. It has some really cool technical analysis tools like trend line drawing, automated trend lines, TDs, 913 indicator tools, uh, and also links to the latest news. It has intraday day charts, daily charts, long-term charts, all in one app. And one feature I really like is that it saves all of your long-term charts. Most other stock apps need to be connected online all the time. And if you have a slow connection, then it works slowly. Well, this one can be connected offline and it's really, really fast. It lets you analyze historical stock chart patterns even when the market's closed. So you can do it on the subway or on the train or just on your way home. It really is the best stock charting app I've seen. Today I will show you Trend Reversal Indicator, or simply TRTD Indicator. It is called so because it tries to predict when the stock price is about to reverse its trend, from a downtrend to uptrend, or uptrend to downtrend, as you can see in this example. The red arrows with the dots above indicates the uptrend is about to end and the downtrend is about to begin. And the blue arrows, blue up arrows, indicates a bottom where the downtrend ends, uptrend is about to begin. TRTD indicator is actually derived originally from Tom DeMarc's 913 counter indicator. And it was very complex uh, to use in, each, in its original form, where you have numbers uh, from 1, 2, 3 count. Uh, written above or below the candlestick and you have to really zoom in to read the numbers and you have to keep track of the counts. I simplified its original implementation into uh, colored gradient bars from the count zero with a faint green to, to count eight to a bright green of a reversal or setup count. And when the final count 9 or above is reached, the blue bars turns into arrow, up arrow, and dots above the arrows indicates perfection criteria. And if you are unfamiliar with the TR indicator, you can read uh, in my ebook when you have a subscription and I will, I will send you all the detailed um, tutorial. However, in this tutorial, all you need to rem remember it's actually very easy that that blue up arrow is a buy signal and the red down arrow is our sell signal and the dot above the arrow the perfection criteria just means the signal is much more reliable and stronger here is a chart of AT&T with TR indicator below and you can see the blue up arrow indicates this bottom the buy reversal complete signal and the red down arrow indicates this top and the trend reverses. And this is also a cell reversal complete signal as this one. But sometimes when you get a very strong trend started with a, a long um, one single day high volume gain, the, the uptrend is very strong and the cell reversal complete signal could just pause or slow down the uptrend a little and the trend will continue. But over the vast majority of the time, the buy reversal complete works. Here's another one, buy reversal complete with the blue ar up arrow and down red arrow indicates the top, sell reversal complete. There are just countless examples, over 80 to 90% of buy reversal complete uh, signals work. Uh, sometimes, uh, the buy reversal complete signal does not um, necessarily mean the stock will go up right away. Sometimes it'll uh, stay low or drift down a little bit before it finally goes up. And here is a down, down red arrow here, sell reversal complete. Buy reversal complete, sell reversal complete marks the top. Here is also an example of a very strong uptrend. So you have to be more careful about shorting stocks with a sell reversal complete in a, in a strong uptrending stock then. Um, it's typically better to buy than short um, with the TR 
indicator. By reversal complete. And here is another big long running uptrend. This is not a perfection uh, by rever by signal, but it is uh, a by count nine reversal by signal. Nonetheless, it's a blue arrow without a dot on top. As you can see, if you bought here. It, it was a start of a long uptrend. And sell reversal complete marks the top here. And sell reversal complete here simply slow down that advance of a very strong trending stock. Sell reversal complete. Buy reversal complete. Here is another good example Home Depot. It conforms very well to TRTD indicator and a cell reversal complete here marks the top by reversal complete the bottom and top and the bottom top a small top and also here Cell reversal complete marks somewhat at the top here, only slow down the strong, very strong uptrend. When you get a very strong uptrend, you will want to look at the McGinley dynamic line or EMA 50 line. These used to uh, form a support for the con continuation of, of uptrend. By complete reversal, another very strong uptrend, and by reversal, by reversal complete, and by reversal complete. Here, even though this is uptrend is very strong, the cell reversal complete slow down the uptrend or pause. Uh, made the price decline even in a very strong uptrend. Sell reversal complete marks the top here. Buy reversal complete. This one without perfection signal on top, as you can see, didn't take the stock into an uptrend right away, but it at least did stop the downtrend and form the bottom here. And sell reversal complete. After three consecutive sell reversal complete, usually stocks marks up top. So even in a very strong uptrend, if you see the stock with uh, many, many consecutive um, sell reversal complete signals, you will know it's probably a good time to take profit or buy back lower at uh, when the buy reversal complete signal appears. And the buy reversal complete, both marks at local minima. BAC Bank of America. Sell reversal complete marks the top here. It's for this bottom. The buy reversal complete and buy exhaustion complete both showed up before the, the true bottom was marked. The buy reversal complete signal here, I usually wait for the second or third uh, by reversal uh, blue arrow before considering entering into the position. Even then, this is just this downtrend was so strong that it was capped by the McGinley Dynamic 14. And when the second by reversal company signal showed up, you know it's more reliable here. And the cell reversal complete marks another top. And the buy reversal complete marks this bottom. And again, marks the top, bottom. I would say over 90% of buy reversal complete signal works. And 70% of sell reversal complete signals work. Marks the top here, and you get a sharp drop here. 
So reversal complete. The top by reversal complete without perfection. So reversal complete. By reversal complete, marks a nice bottom here and takes all the way to cell reversal complete here. And another cell reversal, the second cell reversal complete in this bar. A strong by reversal complete here, and the second one even stronger. And this, the stock reverses immediately. And cell reversal complete marks this top. It's a good cell here. So here's another example. Uh, Glog, gas log, it's a company that uh, ships liquefied natural gas on vessels. As you can see, there is a, a very steady uptrending line uh, from point A through F. Along the way, you had many opportunities to make uh, good profits, such as point D, by point at E, by at point F. Uh, you could have bought the stock at any of these points at low teens and the stock ultimately went to uh, mid 20s. But what's interesting here uh, in this chart is that there is another steeper trend line formed after stocks started taking off in the late 2013. And as you can see this uh, steeper trend line uh, was eventually penetrated then um, followed by recovery back into the, this trend line and it being retested. Retesting to me is very important uh, that I find 80% of the time when this trend line is penetrated, the stock usually recover 80% of the time, very high uh, chance that the recovery will try to retest this line and when the retest fails, the stock ultimately goes into a long-term decline like it happens here. But what's further interesting is that if you scroll uh, further into the future, you can see that the old trend line seems to hold uh, at point G, H, and I. That a, an old trend line um, ended about a year ago at F and still valid to uh, very recently. Um, this shows you that how important a uh, long-term trend line is and sometimes the trend line can hold for years if not decades.